Hi, this is a uh, one take tutorial for Tinkercad in 10 minutes or less. I'll be making a spoon. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this spoon as realistic as possible using the tools that I have available to me. I'm going to start with the bowl part of the spoon, like the, the part that holds the food. Now I'm going to make, I'm just going to make it from my experience of just what looks like a good spoon. So I'm going to start with this cylinder shape and make it spoon looking. Now I'm going to carve the bowl out of it by taking these measurements and making a sphere the same dimension. So it's 48 by 26. So I'm going to do 48 by 26. I'm going to align them and I'm going to raise up the sphere or actually I could just lower that until we cut. I'm going to turn the, the sphere into a hole and cut. There we go. So now I have a bowl shape in this cylinder that I turned on its side, as you can see. So now I have to cut the bottom. So I'm going to turn this in itself as a tool. So I'm going to duplicate it. All right. I'm going to cut this into a hole. So now I have something that would cut a hole in the bottom of this in the shape of this already created um, bowl. So I'm going to lower this slightly. How do I know how far I want to lower it? Well, I just, I select this, let me hit back, and then I'm going to lower it, and then you get this number right here. That's how far down it's going to go. So I'm going to make it two, and then I'm going to group these together. I'm going to align it, then group them. All right, so that should be okay. Let's group them and see if it looks like a spoon. Okay, so that's that's quite a deep spoon. It's like a soup spoon. So let me change this to where it doesn't look so bad. Um, and then maybe shrink it a little bit. Okay. That's more spoon-like. And uh, spoons typically don't have that high. It's a very steep spoon. So I'm going to maybe shrink it down a little bit. I like that. That's better. All right, so now I have the bowl of the spoon. And this is going to be the hard part is the handle that looks right. The, the problem with Tinkercad is... It does not have organic shapes, um, or it does. You just have to work at it. I'm not going to use a cylinder. I'm going to use um, a box for this. And I could just put it here and call it a spoon, you know. it's, But that's not, that's not helping anybody. So I'm going to start carving away at this. Like I, I would treat this like a piece of wood, and I would be making tools how tall is that? It's six, so I'm going to make this six as well. All right, so I'm going to start carving at this like like I would um, tool, like uh, with wood tools. How I'm going to do that is this tool called the extrusion, extrusion, sorry. Um, and it creates shapes that are more flowy or organic. So I'm going to take this. And I want it to, to um, the spoon, I want to carve out ornate design that looks more, um, so I'm going to play with this until I get a shape. And then I'm going to carve it out like this. 
That might be too much. I'm going to bring this in a little bit. I'm going to bring this up and over a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work. So I'm going to carve this out. I'll have to turn this into a hole first. And then carve this out. There we go. And then I'm going to ungroup so I can have this tool again. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to flip it. And put it on this side too. I'm going to align this tool and I'm going to align this one and this one together. There we go. And then I'm going to group this as one tool. I'm going to group them together. I'm not grouping it with that middle one yet. So now I'm going to align it with that middle one. I have about four minutes left. And let me move this down. I'm using my arrow to move this down. I like to use the arrow when I'm trying to just move a couple spots. All right. That has a more, uh, like, I don't know how you would see a spoon. How would you describe a spoon? It would be, like, it has more of a, a texture to it. I, I don't know how else to explain it. So let's group these. Well, let's duplicate this first in case I need to use this later. Set this over here. And then now I'm going to group these. So this has more of a spoon look or feel to it. So I'm going to shrink this down with the few minutes I have left. And I'm going to take this. Let's align these this way. Let's align them this way. And then I'll bring this in closer. That's a problem. I'm going to take this and turn this. I'm going to duplicate this. Turn this into a hole. And do the same thing I just did. i carve away at it. I'm going to align. Um, what I'm doing now is creating, I'm removing, I'm trying to remove pieces of this handle so it doesn't poke through the spoon when I connect it. So I'm going to group that. There we go. See how, I, see how I cut away some of this? Now it'll attach without, without breaking through to the spoon or the inside of the spoon. Hmm. I think that needs to be aligned this way. Here we go. And I think let's pick a silvery looking color. Nope. Gray and group. There we go. And that's a spoon. I think it looks pretty good. A few things I might change is um, the squareness of this area right here. There's too many corners and squares and stuff. But And also, if I would have taken my time here, maybe ungroup that and, and fix this little mark right here. But all in all, I think it did pretty good. This does have a bowl shaped concave into it. It does the handle does look better than just putting a a random box stretched out box on there. So all in all, I think it did pretty good. So I uh, I appreciate it, and that's all the time I have. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.